GSK, other drug makers bet on post-Brexit UK science. London, Reuters Britain won a vote of confidence from its economically important life sciences sector on Wednesday as five drug companies committed to invest in the country under the government's industrial strategy plans after Brexit. File photo. The logo of AstraZeneca is seen on medication packages in a pharmacy in London April 28, 2014. Writer Stefan Wormuth file photo The move is welcome news for Prime Minister Theresa May, who has struggled to win over large sections of industry as Britain prepares to leave the European Union. Thanks to the strength of UK universities and the presence of two major pharmaceuticals companies in GlaxoSmithKline and AstraZeneca, the drugs industry has been a bright spot in the British economy for many years. But the highly regulated sector faces potential obstacles to trade as a result of Brexit, unless London and Brussels manage to align regulatory regimes for medicines. In a bid to soften the blow, the government has backed a report by immunologist and geneticist John Bell designed to boost the pharmaceutical sector via fresh public-private collaborations. That has paved the way for the life sciences sector deal, which will see GSK invest £40 million, 54 million of new money in genomic research, including a plan to sequence DNA from all 500,000 volunteer participants enrolled in UK Biobank, the world's most detailed biomedical database. GSK's head of research Patrick Valence said the deal showed Britain remained an attractive place for drug discovery, but he cautioned, the UK needs to recognise going forward that science is an international endeavour, not a parochial endeavour. Other investments include plans by Johnson Johnson and the Medicines Co. to work on new clinical trials and genetic research by AstraZeneca. U.S. drug maker Merck Co. had already announced plans to expand U.K. research operations under the deal last week. Our standards, the Thomson Reuters Trust principles, based on the materials of the site, 